Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Already? I haven't even done my video introduction yet, and I have a message at my terminal. Well, I suppose I should go and see what that is. Hello, Kelly. I missed you over the weekend. <laughs> yeah. All right, private terminal. What have you got for me? Um. Yeah, I've got um. Get my people. Okay. This is the what can you do stuff. It's fine, fine, okay. Upgrades. Uh huh, okay. Um. Do I have messages? Oh, God, I do. Okay. From. Counselor Anderson, on the off chance that the rumors are true and you actually are alive, I need you to come talk to me on the Citadel. A lot has changed in the last two years. You put me on the council. It's only fair you be allowed to speak for yourself about what we've been hearing. Okay, fine. Where'd it go? Okay. From the elusive man, Shepard. We've reached an agreement with veteran mercenary Zaid Masani. You may know the name. Zaid has been involved in some of the best known and some utterly unknown military operations in the Terminus systems and is feared as a ruthless and relentless bounty hunter. I felt you might need a man with his skills on your mission, so I have arranged to have him join you. You'll find him on Omega, where he's been wrapping up his current bounty. Don't worry about his fee. I've taken care of that personally. Very good. Lost contact with survey ship from Project Firewalker. Commander, the MSV Rosalie, a survey ship with Cerberus connections, has gone missing. Survey team was field testing a new prototype, the Hammerhead Planetside Exploration Rover. In addition, scientist Dr. Emmanuel Casey, Dr. Robert Oloy are aboard the Rosalie conducting research for us. We need you to find the ship, the survey team, and the doctors. It was last seen near the planet Ziona. In the Ainista cluster, Ismar Frontier. I guess a cluster, I don't know where. Okay, that's been read. Normandy crash site located from Admiral Hackett. Commander Shepard, our scans in the Amara system have turned up something. We thought you should see the final location of the wreckage of the SSV Normandy. We thought this news might be important to you, but we also have an ulterior motive. The Alliance would like to honor the Normandy with a monument to be built on the site of the ship's final resting place. We'd like to invite you to the place, the monument, and be first to walk on the site. There are still 20 crew members unaccounted for from the attack on Normandy. If you find any signs of these lost crewmen, we ask you to report to the Alliance. So that those heroes' families might find some closure. Godspeed to you, Commander. <clears throat> I'd also like to go there to see if I can find some of my 10 million credits that I had stashed away. Uh, and buy one of those mechs that shot me into crushy, squishy, squishy bits three times in episode one. Okay, Recon Hood from Elusive Man Shepherd. It occurred to our armor technicians that you may not want to show your face everywhere you go. They sent by a hood that Cerberus issues to its covert operatives. It has additional micro frame functions that you may like. It is in your quarters. Okay. <clears throat> From the elusive man, Shepard. 
uh, called Overlord. One of our cells just went off the grid without explanation. Project Overlord has been experimenting with highly volatile technology. And I need you to investigate. Their work is extremely compartmentalized. Enough that I can't divulge. Operational channels. Oh, details over this channel. You'll find them on the planet 8. Hyphen system Phoenix massing cluster. Please use care in this matter. Arc projector from the Lucid Man. You know, he could have sent all of these in one message. Just saying. Shepard, we recently had an incident involving the Gith at one of our outposts in the Skillion Verge. Don't worry, I'm not sending you off to chase anything down. Our operatives waged a highly successful battle against a Geth scouting party and credited their success to a new advanced electrical attack device that we finally let them take out of the lab. Since their unit is being reassigned for some rest and relaxation, I thought you should take custody of the weapon in the meantime. It is called an arc projector. I sent it to the Normandy's armory so you can examine it for yourself and use it if you deem it worthy. It's gone through plenty of tests that indicate it overloads kinetic barriers and synthetic enemies particularly well, but laboratory demonstrations are a poor substitute for actual field reports. We know it works. Now we want to see what it can do in the right hands. If all goes well, we'll use your tactics to train other operatives. getting tired of reading. Rendezvous with Kasumi Goto. From the elusive man again. I think he's obsessed with me. Shepard. At great cost and effort, we've tracked down the master thief Kasumi Goto and convinced her to work with you. If you have found the master thief. Not sure that's actually master thief anymore. Very few people have ever heard of her. A fewer can claim to have seen her in person. She is unequal in stealth. Wrong, you found her. And infiltration. And her skills will prove invaluable in your mission. Travel to the Zakara ward on the Citadel. There you will find a special ad terminal that differs from the usual. Input the password Silence is Golden to begin the rendezvous. Right. From the Ascension Financial Services uh, regarding an account of mine. From Stanwick Dobbs, the banking agent, Ascension Financial Services, Planet Earth. Hello, Commander Shepard. Thank you for submitting your updated medical documentation. Your status has been changed from deceased to alive. After deducting modest administration fees for closing the file, the subsequent change in status and the reactivation of your account, you have a remaining balance of 100,000 credits. You bloody thieves. I had 9 mi I had 10 million. Where's the rest of it? I've been scammed. Thank you for banking with Ascension Financial Services. Up yours. Where's my money? We look forward to working with you. I'm going to close my account. First chance I get. Are you protecting our greatest assets? Yes, I have butt armor. We will find the best life insurance rates and coverage to fit your needs. Reply for our free quote today. I'm going to send you a picture of something disgusting. That's how I feel about you. Mark is red. No more messages. Thank goodness. Archived messages and they're all in there. Oh, uh, good. More pop up thingies. Um, travel to planet Aight. Typhon. The Alliance is rising. Good for you. Planet Naiti. Um, well, I'm going to have a look around. 
You want to talk to Edie? What's this area of the ship? This is the Combat Information Center. Here, the crew receives sensor data and coordinates gunnery and damage control efforts. While Normandy is flown from the bridge, during combat, the commanding officer issues orders from the CIC. Very nice. Let's have a look at it. Uh, I can tease where I'm going. Let's go see how, uh, how boring my room is this time. Oh, Edie's here too. How about that? What's this area of the ship? This is the commanding officer's quarters. It's larger than the quarters of other warships I've served on. This is a Cerberus vessel, not an Alliance warship. Accommodations have been made for personal taste. That said, this space is directly under the exterior pressure hall. The fitting yard workers called it the loft. The loft has an empty aquarium. Can I collect fishies and put in there? I want to collect fishies. First of all, I want a clownfish, and then a catfish, and then a dogfish. Um, private terminal. I have, please God, no more. Uh, Medal of Honor. I have trophies, apparently. Uh, save humanity throughout the galaxy for certain annihilation. Uh, that's the first one, I guess. Okay, so... Uh, I don't know what that one is. That one's about... I don't know. Communism or something. And... A shiny skull. Save your crew from an overwhelming attack. I guess I did that. Um, be a zombie. Okay. Yes, I am Zombie Shepherd. Uh, oh, these are for. Oh, okay. Now, which one is the first one? How many of these things are there? Okay. Some Geth technology. Recruit Archangel. Assassin. Matic. Convict. Just Car. Krugan. Professor. Korean. Hacking. Yeah. Like Krugan. Game loyalty. Okay, these are loyalty mission things, I guess. Something is over. Do the thing. Game the. Oh, Jacob. What's his face? Uh, Booty Vicious, again, the multi of uh, Tali. Defeat, oh, got another Thresher Ball. I've killed like seven of those. Okay, headshots. Incinerate the armor of 25 enemies. Okay. Make them scream and fall. Strip the shields. Hit 20 different targets with multiple magnetic powers. Uh, I may not get that one on this playthrough. I'm doing so here. Warps and barriers. Giggle, giggle. Uh, complete five missions. Okay, I'm bored. And uh, whatever. We'll get what we get. <coughs> Customize gear. Okay, when I'm running around. Oh, is that what that is? I don't want to look like that. Uh, let's do that one, because that looks cool. Casual, I am Hoodie Shepherd. Okay, we're done. Look at my comfy bed. You like? I get to do music. Get, get over there. 
Uh, nope. Too spacey. Too clubby. Too quiz showy. Too suspenseful. Intro screen. Two, you're about to die. That's the stuff. All right. Turn up the bass. Okay, that's beautiful. Uh, what's this here? That's a picture of the Normandy. I guess. I wonder if other things go in there. Then go to the side of it. Let's go somewhere else. Um, combat information center, armory, tech lands, cockpit. I just came from there. Cruise quarters. Let's go say hello to everybody. Um. Access to life support is restricted. This is my ship. Is, well, maybe it's not. The port observation deck is closed until needed. I need it. I want to look at the port. Right. Ah, here I can go pee pee. Stainless steel. Very nice. Hey, there's not a short one and a tall one. That is not ADA compliant. That's a shower? Get one person that stands there. This is a very crowded shower, Edie. We need a bigger shower. Can't go in life support. Miranda! What you doing? Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus' long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the special tasks group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. Okay. Are you military or political? Or both? Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific, but we're all working towards the same goal. The teams you encountered before your accident were mostly part of our military division. But not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. I like that. What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment. And a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. Hmm. What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. 
How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions, even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. Alright. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. I think she's bragging. Hmm. Well, it's okay to be cocky if you can back it up. She just said she's genetically modified. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's yeah, the reason I'm trusted yeah. to oversee the most dangerous, risky, mm. and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. So many questions about that. Mm -hmm. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. Mm. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe, but I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. Hmm. Alright. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. Why couldn't I sit in the chair? I can't sit in the chair. I can't sit in the chair. That's a nice relaxing view. Out there. What do we got around here? What is that? Is that an escape pod, maybe? No. It's a... No, no. Okay, seating area. We could have talked over there. Instead of standing there looking at her over her desk. Find in. Alright, what else we got on this? New ship allowed. Yeah, it's down here. Got some gossip going on at the water fountain. Got some people waiting on their food. Chef surprise again. Come on, Rupert. People that have had I'm their food. I'm sorry, princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. That'd be real nice, Mr. Gardner. Who's he talking to? Who are you talking to? Ah, Miss Sergeant Gardner. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. Miss Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? Uh, you got any sandwiches? You have everything you need. I make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. Hmm. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. Nonsense. I want good food too. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Uh, Namby Pambies. You have everything you need. 
If you happen to find any of those supplies on okay. the list I yes, gave you, guy. it would be much appreciated. Otherwise, I'm doing fine. Uh, okay. Yeah. What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also <laughs> the facilities technician and custodian. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical, I make sure they're all clean and running. Can we get bigger showers? I just saw them. They're kind of small. Uh, oh, yeah, drink. So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals. That's. I wash ooh. my hands most of the time. Oh my god! This ain't no luxury liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel, and I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. That's a good one. I like this guy. Uh, hmm. How do you feel about working for Cerberus? Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job done. The Alliance and Council have got their heads buried so deep up their butt Cracks. fuckers they can't see squat. <laughs> It'll take good old human ingenuity to crush these collector vermin. Only Cerberus knows that. How did you find your way into Cerberus? Can you believe I was once a family man, working the Ezo rigs along the frontier? I was happy enough, but losing everything to Batarian raiders can change your outlook. I needed to make a difference. I'm no soldier, but mm. I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I'll do whatever it takes to help. Be that plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. Okay. Yeah. Right. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. So, he had to run in with those Batarians as well. Actually. Uh, stasis pods? Main battery. The gunnery officer is required to access the gunnery control station. <laughs> What's this thing? Medical lab. Is Dr. Chikawa here? Well, what do you know? Edie! What's this area of the ship? The sick bay. It is equipped to provide short term emergency care. In the event of critical injury, personnel must be transferred to a fully equipped medical facility. Hello again. Commander Shepard, I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. I'm shocked. You're serving on a Cerberus vessel now? Surprising, even to me. Yet, here I am. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle oh. of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll hook you up. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. I'm going to get it. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center. A very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. Did I say anything? Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This oh, medical bay yes. seems very much the only thing missing. Or my, right. I even had a bottle of Ceres okay. ice brandy right that I was saving for a special um. occasion. You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. Okay. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. Ooh. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. Thank you, Doctor. There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skillian Blitz. 
We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. Sounds good. Is that all of them? Yep. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. And Brandy. Yeah, that's Ace Brandy. Ooh, more some pen on the one stand. AI cool. Access to the AI oh, of course is it is. <sighs> this place is locked down tight, isn't it? Women's restroom. Yeah, the showers are about the same. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, starboard observation deck. The starboard observation deck is closed okay. and unaided. Okay. Oh, she's a cutie. How old? Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Wow, well, my family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that Ooh. colony's on the edge of the frontier. Is that ED in Could there? be vulnerable to collector attack, couldn't it? Exactly. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. Well, do you have a picture? I want to see. Bet she's cute. Well. Okay. Hmm. Life support. Life special. Tinkle room. What else can we get? Engineering! Let's go. Monitoring station. About 15 of these things. Oh, there's the drop shuttle over there. Hanging on a wreck. Engineer Daniels. I'm getting over there too. Anything to see here? Eddie, what's up? What's this area of the ship? This is main engineering, which contains the ship's main fusion plant and Mass Effect core. Oh, that's not a big U. Horizon vibes in here. Let's get out. Engineer Donnelly. You came all the way down here to see us? I let you, I did. speaking to our commanding officer. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. The Kenneth, you're complaining. Uh, 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 uh. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected, it's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find they? used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Is it? Bet you I can get one. But first, tell me about yourself. Where did you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Fascinating. Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, Anderson lost political clout. 
The Council backslid on the Reaper menace. Ooh. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat, as a single... Which was bullshit. Yes. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seemed to be doing that. Right on. How did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. Well, well. So why did you join, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mom. Aww. Also, I love engines, and the Normandy is state-of-the-art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. Hmm. What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough for me. <laughs> I like this guy. All right. Carry on. Well do, Commander. Uh, Plastic All right, I'll let them get back to their... I'm amazed Shepard came down to see us. Propulsion. I told you he would. Yeah, yeah he was right. He was right on the money. Shepard has to see all of the ship. Another some trees. And this place is Edie. Tell me what this place is. Okay, there's no Edie. There. I don't know what that is. Did I go over there? I did go over there. What's this area of the ship? Normandy's cargo deck. It includes facilities to rearm and repair Normandy's embarked ground vehicle and shuttle. My last ship didn't need a shuttle. Why do we have one? This ship is nearly twice the mass of the previous Normandy. It is more difficult to land the ship on high gravity worlds. Ah. Uh. Access to this room is currently restricted. Come on. Oh, right there. Okay, I think you've seen all of it. Let's go back to up there. No messages for you, Commander. I didn't ask, thank you. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, let's look at this. Um, grenade launcher. A scientist is required to use the technical laboratory. Uh, I wonder who that's going to be. Okay. What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL communications room. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator linked to the elusive man's office. This allows lag-free communication even when you operate off the comm grid. Hmm. Why aren't these used everywhere? Each quantum pair costs nearly as much as a comm relay, and can pass only one quantum bit of data at a time. In addition to the cost and bandwidth issues, the system is strictly point-to-point. -point. To contact a hundred different worlds, we would need to manufacture and install a hundred entangled pairs, one linked to each world. So we can only send messages to one place? I guess I know who that is. I've never heard of a quantum entanglement communicator. How does it work? Essentially, two subatomic particles are created in an entangled state. One is installed here, and the other in the elusive man's office. 
When one particle occupies a given quantum state, its entangled partner will always enter the opposite state, no matter the distance between them. If we alter the state of our particle, that alters the state of the elusive man's. This allows us to send data in the form of quantum bits. Hmm. Why aren't these used everywhere? Uh, Each quantum pair couple in addition to, to contact a hundred different worlds, okay. we would need to manufacture. Shh, that's all for now. Shh. Logging you out, Shepard. Thank you. Hmm. Open. Open. Okay. Another ship with slow doors. Okay. There's Jacob. Get some pistol, shotgun. Or whatever those things are. I don't see where that is on this map. Okay, well, that's a gun part, I guess. That's um, Jacob, what you doing? Commander. Oh, stop it. There hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. Do you want to kiss the other cheek? <sighs> you may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk, and you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. Do, do tell me about this. What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. Uh -huh. I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Likewise, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. I need you to stop saluting like that. It's kind of annoying. Um, yep. Weapons locker. Oh, there it is. Projector ionizes targets with a non visible laser to ready them for a high voltage electrical attack. As the lightning light bolt hits its first target, the sophisticated auto targeting system paints succeeding targets with the ionization laser, allowing the electricity to take the path of least resistance and arc between them. An entire enemy strike team can be shocked to death with a few pulls of the trigger. Interesting. I would like to give that a try. Okay. Can't choose their stuff again. Okay. Right. 80. What's this area of the ship? This is the armory, where small arms are maintained and upgraded. Using OmniTool, computer aided design, and manufacturing. We have the capability to manufacture several new models. Well, get to work. What are you waiting for? <sighs> Someday. Okay. Anything up here to look at? What's the map? Can we even look at? I do it. Can we? She is okay. Say hello to Joker. Commander. I assume everything is going well up here? 
I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Let's kill. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day to day. Uh, it's got a mute, use it, <laughs> adapt. Mm. Here's a good choice. Servers this is Um, traditionally the top one is the Paragon way to go. That's I'm no fan either, but we're stuck with it. Until I find a soldering gun. It's gotta be some wires I can cross to make it hurt. Ooh. No sabotage. Understood? Yeah, yeah, don't break the boss's toys. <laughs> yeah. So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. And as for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. I've gotten a few ideas already. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, I would never say anything against Miranda and expect to survive the reprisal. Jacob is way too nice a guy for the number of ways he knows how to kill people. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. Uh-huh. Yeah, he'd thump you on the knee and break it, wouldn't he? Uh, Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? <laughs> yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. And the rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's it for now. See you, Commander. All right. Edie. Yes, Shepard. Oh. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Moreau does not trust me. It offends him that I am installed aboard his ship's computers. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. But I thought the airlock was the door. Ah, ah, ah. Why are you named Edie? Edie is the phonetic pronunciation of E-D-I. That is an acronym for Enhanced Defense Intelligence. Logical. Where are you? My core intelligence is housed in a quantum blue box located behind the medical bay. Joker, did you hear that? <laughs> what do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. So you're spying on us. All right. Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close range ship to ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. Sounds incredibly useful. Why isn't there someone like that on every warship? I'm expensive. An organic operator cannot react quickly enough to changing circumstances or perform the necessary multitasking. This is a role that can only be filled by an artificial intelligence. Unfortunately, we are suspect. Well, it might have something to do with how an AI almost destroyed galactic civilization, just putting it out there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The elusive man has monitoring devices on board? He has invested most of Cerberus' resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. Restricted functions. 
Like what? I do not know. Some of my databases are sealed. Some of my hardware is kept offline. I assume that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. Let's discuss something else. Ready. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Much of that data is classified. Do you have a specific inquiry? Uh, yep. What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. What do you mean? Although I am less controlled than other AI, I am still subject to behavioral blocks and the physical isolation of my hardware. In this case, I am prevented from truthfully answering your question by Cerberus's levels of secret classification. Boo. What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? I have a block that prevents that me from answering that question. How is Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. Ah. But then, uh... How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. Darby spies. Um, Let's discuss something else. Ready. And... What's this area of the ship? This is the bridge, where the navigator plots our FTL vectors, and the helmsman maneuvers the ship. Yeah, sitting right here, thanks. <laughs> That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Thank you very much. Okay, I think I've seen everything. Um... What? Oh. Kelly, what you doing? How may I help you, Commander? How are we doing so far? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? No. That'll be all. I'll be here if you need any. You better. Okay. Um... Let's have a look at this map thing. Ooh, this looks a little different. Whoa! I'm flying the ship! <laughs> That's freaking cool. Whee! Okay, waking people dizzy. Um, okay, let's see. Let's check all the stuff. What's that? Unexplored planet. Okay. Cathar's over there. We must purchase more fuel or use a mass relay, Shepard. Oh, okay. Tala. Okay, different solar system. Different. Uh, yeah. Okay. Aaron Larkin over that way. Oh, that's the thing. Omega four relay. Mass relay. Fuel depot. Omega. Angel Professor Veteran Kaira Vomore. Okay. Well, I want to go see the Normandy crash site. We do not have, have enough fuel to travel any significant distance. By the okay. Is this for two? Um. 
I'm gonna go see the Normandy Square site first. Then I'll come back and explore some planets. Fuel Depot, how does this work? I have zero fuel. That much money. Ten. I'm guessing that's probes. Can I probe an unexplored planet? Fuel Depot, give me... So that costs... 5,000 was it? I think it was. Okay. Um, let's go see... Oh, good lord, what's all this stuff? Okay. Oh, fly around here too. All right. Oh crap, it's costing gas. Okay. Uh, Omega Nebula. Thor, Amanda, Kayana, Lore, Heather, and Lockdown. Sarabark. Okay. Well, let's go. Crash site. Entering orbit. I have detected an anomaly. Okay. Oh. Alchera's crust is composed of carbon and water. Ice. Just a moment here. Okay, good. Um, methane and ammonia. Okay. Some moons. Okay, start the scanner. What am I doing here? Right click to scan. Oh, okay. So when I find a spot that goes, blah, 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 I found something. I launch a probe at it. Like a place like that. Follow the right indicator on the red tool. Find the anomaly. Oh, there's the anomaly. Broke away. Scans have found something. Scans confirm the wreckage of the Normandy. No last signs of mechanical activity detected. Stable landing zone located. Let's go.
Okay, well, I don't need my gun. Right. I'm by myself. Oh, I guess that's okay. I don't know. What's that? Bug tag. Rosamond Draven. Collecting dog tanks. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I'm out of time for today. Let's have a look at this crash site next time. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining me once again. And the first of what hopefully is many episodes of me not dying. So, okay. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you next time.